Okay, so I decided to show you my little project with the, I don't know, mercury glass lamp knockoff. Um, basically, I think this is kind of Lazy Man's tutorial instructions. And I, so far, I'm kind of distracted right now because we've got supper going and kids screaming and lots of stuff. Um, but I wound up spraying this kind of ugly old porcelain lamp with just white um, with a silver um, satin nickel spray and then after it dried really well with that then I put on this liquid <laughs> this liquid leaf let me find it there you go liquid leaf right there and now I brushed it on just really kind of like that just really and then you know kind of stipled it on like that and then now that it's kind of puddling up in places which I did purposefully I kind of let it run I would then do like that I don't know if you can see what that does but I'm hoping that that I've never done this before by the way and I have no idea but you know I'm hoping that'll give it that kind of imperfection can you see i don't know i mean i feel like it's already looking like you know mercury glass so it's i'm, I'm really excited about it so we're going to come back in a little bit and then we're going to glaze it and see if um if i pulled this off i don't know we're going to probably have to do it maybe inside it's so bright out here you can't really even tell um and our porch looks great right <laughs> so anyway um and we had a small house fire ah, we'll tell you about that later but Anyway, I don't know. I just thought it'd be easier to show you guys kind of what I did than try to type it all out. And I feel like I'm on, I don't know, on the right track. So we'll see. Okay. Okay, so this is the next morning. And if you can kind of see, this was after last night when I used the um, liquid leaf. And I was actually a little nervous. And I thought, you know, in the end, maybe I should have used um, the... You know, the kind with the sheets. I got to thinking that might have given it more of that kind of crumpled. You know how mercury glass has that. There's just imperfection in it. And that kind of highlights the, um, you know, that black in it. Um, and, you know, just the aging. It just looks like it's got more character. So what I did, like I showed you last night, you can kind of see a little bit better in here. Although there's, you know, a lot of sun. Um, you know, I really tried to let it run and just let it kind of create its own kind of swirly twirly <laughs> pattern and then you know sometimes after for instance like right here you know I would go back and like kind of stick it with my dried paintbrush just to make it um, really that kind of modeled you know just imperfect right up my alley you know but I'm actually really pleased with it I mean look how pretty it just looks like mirrors already so even if I left it like that I would be I think happy looks so much cooler already than it did um you know just as that white porcelain um and i don't have a video of that part but i think i've got an old picture laying around of it on the table so anyway i'm about to get to glazing it and i'm just going to use i just picked this up a while back when our lowe's was pretty much out of all their tintable <laughs> gloss and it is good it's an antiquing glaze so it's already just a really kind of blackish brown color it's got honestly a little bit of green in it like you know a little bit of olive in the undertones i'm going to sit this down because i can't get it open um you can't really tell though but see it's just a you know a, a really dark black brown kind of um, color and so I think it will be perfect and I think I'm just gonna really put it on pretty heavy and let it sit for a couple of minutes and then wipe it off just to see if it'll kind of get um, you know get in there I had tested I believe it was like this area last night and I just barely put you know some on there but I really do love that it just kind of tones down the sheen on this mirror on this uh, on this mirror <laughs> <laughs> on this lamp but you can already kind of tell that it's really going to age it just a little bit and give it a little bit more three-dimensional um, quality so I'm really excited and now it's going to make me want to put it in this room I mean look at it up here somebody find me some more old lamps I want to do this with all of them only I think I just want to do it and leave it oh anyway I'm rambling 